What is going on guys? My name is PokerRev and welcome to the Poke Cave. Guys, today I'm jumping into all the mail that I've had sitting here for the past two weeks just sitting there staring back at me asking me to open it up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't even remember half the things that I purchased, but we're going to see what it is together. So let's start off here with package number one. So I started, I cut this one open a little bit. I haven't looked in it yet, but <laughs> we have PSA cards. It looks like the Saram Wrap method was used here, so let's pull these apart. There we go. All right, so let's see what we got. These PSA cards. Now, these are not mine. These are going to TCG Revival. I'm just middlemanning them, but let's see what we got here. So first to start off, we have a PSA 10 Golem, and this is from Expedition. It's number 14. It's the holo card, so let's check that out close up there. Looks really good. Let's check the back out as well. Definitely looks like PSA 10 to me, so a clean card. That's the first one from Expedition, the E-Series era. We got another Expedition. We got a Magmi P PSA 10. Uh, another one from the E-Series, and these usually grade pretty well. The quality on these cards from the E-Series era was really good. All right, we got a Venusaur, another E-Series card. Another one from Expedition, PSA 10 Hollow. I love this era of Pokemon. Um, the E-Series is really cool. Oh, we got the Mew. Okay, this is the reverse. I thought it was the um, the Hollow. Either way, the Mew is really good. I know the Hollow version of this card is worth a decent chunk of money. I mean, if you check out that Mew, really nice artwork there. From the year 2002, let's check out the back. Another one that looks really, really clean. Then we got the Doug Trio. Now, I know this one is a low population of PSA 10s. I don't know the exact number of them. But I know that these are definitely really hard to find. So we got the Doug Trio breaking out of the ground there. It's kind of cracking. Looks really good. Um, another one. And then let's finish it off with a Clefable. And this one's also a hollow. So another really, really nice artwork. And all these from Expedition. They're all hollow except for that Mew. So check that out. A nice little pickup there for TCG Revival. So let's keep going. We're going to go to the next package. And again, I don't remember exactly what's in all these. There's probably about 10 packages here, so it's been a couple weeks, guys. I've been letting my mail pile up. I've been kind of busy um, with the channel and everything and family, but we have... Oh, okay, this is... Uh, what is this? I see some Primal Clash. Okay, so actually, this... I believe this is going to be a giveaway from someone, from one of... Um, our subscribers here so I'm gonna save that for another time you guys will hear about it but definitely gonna be a nice giveaway so stay tuned for that one let's keep moving on we have another package here let's see what is in this one so it's kind of in like a rectangular shaped um, package here like bubble mail I gotta be careful I don't know how far in I could cut Ooh, that might have been close oh <laughs> that was really close uh, so we have packs here and these are all loose. Um, these are from a big company, so they should be, you know, 100% fine. Normally, I don't buy loose packs unless I know the source is verified and I know exactly where the packs came from. Um, but these were pulled out from some sort of, like, promotional um, packages. I don't know the exact ones, but they should be fine. But either way, these are black and white Plasma Blast. Another set from the black and white era that's... Definitely been on the rise, so I thought I'd grab some packs up. I might open these up myself on the channel, um, just for fun. I'll have to see, but Plasma White, here are all the artworks. Or, I'm sorry, Plasma Blast from Black and White. Here are all the artworks, so check that out. I've never opened up these before, but yeah, so there should be 36 packs here. Looks to be about that. So there we go. Another package. We're going to keep moving along, so let's go to... Let's do this one. Let's see what this one. This was kind of scaring me because it don't. It wasn't really packaged well. Um, there might be some bubble wrap, but I don't know. We gotta see. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. We have these, but that didn't really do much because, yeah. All right. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, it did get damaged. See, you can't pack stuff like this. This is literally no protection. So I might have to contact the seller about this and see. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So check it out. But either way, we got a Psyduck. Um, it's a remote-controlled Psyduck. So honestly, since this packaging is not, it's kind of messed up, I might end up, maybe I'll open this if you guys want to see it. But it has a $7.99 sticker on here, if you could see that. Uh, remote-controlled Psyduck. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Number 54, ages 4 and up. I think I'm old enough 
play with this. So they had Ivysaur, Cubone, and Psyduck. And okay, so yeah, these were all remote controlled Pokemon. I believe this is probably like 99. Yeah, 1999 Hasbro official Nintendo licensed product. So it's official. It's just a shame that it got damaged there. But it's still really cool either way. So let's keep moving along. We got a bunch more packages to go through here. Let's do. I'm thinking we go into this box. So I don't know. I, I remember I purchased some old booster boxes. And I'm trying to think what else I purchased. It's just been a while that this has been sitting here. Okay, nice. Here we go. I remember buying this. So there should be. Yes. So check it out. We've got two Plasma Freeze booster boxes. So probably open up one of these on the channel um, live with you guys. So definitely one to open up and then one to go into the collection. So yeah, these are looking really good. Plasma Freeze, black and white era. Um, these are getting really hard to find as well. All the black and white era stuff has just been going nuts lately. If you've been watching the market and everything like that. So try to grab things when I can. Um, especially things that I need in the collection. But here we go. Let's keep moving along. We got another like bubble. I don't know what to call it. Pat it. Mailer. We got to be careful here. I don't know what exactly is in this. So when I cut into these, got to be super careful here. If I can get into it. Let me go on the side here. Let's see what we got. Um, okay. So it looks to be like a PSA card. Now, I think this one actually also might be going to TCG Revival. We got the classic Saran Wrap again on this one. So we got a PSA 9 Expedition Skarmory. So Skarmory coming in. Um, not like a super popular Pokemon or anything, but really nice artwork on here. So yeah, Skarmory from Expedition in a PSA 9. Clean card. Nines are clean. I mean, nines are considered mint. So, tens are gem mint. And those are almost flawless. But, nines are pretty close. So, let's keep moving along here. We have... So, check this out, guys. We got, like, a tube right here. And I think I know exactly what this is. So, I believe this was from a subscriber. I'm going to say it was... Underdog um, RC, I believe, is their name. Yeah. So here we go. Let's check this out. We have a poster. I'm going to try to show you guys this. I don't know if there's anything in here. No, I think this is empty. But So I'm going to show you this the best that I can. But, oh, this is sick. So this is an old school poster. I believe it's all 151, is it? Or 150? 150. So if you guys can see this, an original poster from Underdog RC sent this our way uh, for the channel. I'd love to put this on a uh, frame it up. So you got all the Pokemon in their order. Uh, I love the top row up there, guys. Got the original starters. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, but yeah, so this is really awesome. And I really appreciate how this was shipped. And um, I'm going to save this. This is really good to ship posters and things like that. So yeah. Awesome poster there. I'll definitely frame that up and maybe I'll throw it in another video if I can get it framed up. We got a bunch more packages here to go. So let's jump into, let's do this one. So let's check out what we have in here in a priority mail. This is like a medium box, I'm going to say. And let's see. All right, we're going to cut in the top here. We got to always be careful. You don't want to push the blade in too far because you never know how people package things up. This one was packaged well um, because we got a box inside of another box so that's always that's always a good sign so here we go wow this was packaged up extremely well let me see if i can even get into this we got like packaging peanuts all kinds of things and then another this is like how you really pack something good so let's see what booster box is in here you can tell it's a booster box right here um you guys we weren't plagued with peanuts a lot of times i do these we get peanuts and then they just cover everywhere in here but luckily that's not the case so let's see what this is it's going to be a surprise for me because i honestly don't remember <laughs> until i see it um <clears throat> oh nice noble victories i literally forgot i purchased this it's this hasn't been sitting here for weeks now but we got a black and white noble victories and i believe i do i've never purchased one of these so black and white i really want to see how 
complete my black and white booster box collection is now. Um, I haven't checked in a while, but I gotta be close. So this one is really pretty mint. The top, so the tops on these ones from from these eras when they change the box styles are kind of hard to keep, like super nice because they get pushed in pretty easily. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah. So that is for sure from a factory case. I would say. I mean, if you guys just check out the wrap on this and just feeling it, it just feels like it's just really nice there. But there we go, black and white, um, noble victories. And then we got one more package here. Let's see what the finale is gonna be. And this one's a pretty big one, so hopefully we can get into this one pretty easily. Now, I, I believe I know what is in here. Um, judging by the weight of it, it's pretty heavy. It's got to be at least. Yeah, okay. There it is. So we got the uh, the uh, bubble things here. And I always reuse this stuff, which is cool. So whenever I package things up, I can reuse all these things. But here we go. We have a boom. This is an X and Y evolutions factory sealed case so you can see right there pokemon uh xy um 12 and then i think it should say on the side here evolutions um maybe not i don't know how they did these x and y best um hmm okay i believe this should be evolutions unless they sent me the wrong thing i don't know i have to check in this but this should be xy evolutions but yeah so we had the xy evolutions factory sealed case um, yeah, I think that is. I think that's how they put the evolutions on the side label there. We got the Psyduck, which unfortunately got damaged in transit because it was packaged. That was pretty bad to put it in here like that. But that, we had the Noble Victories booster box. We had the two Plasma Freeze booster boxes. We had the Loose Plasma Blast booster packs. Then we had all of these really nice Expedition PSA cards. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this mail day video. I know it's been a while, so if you guys want me to do these more often, let me know, and I'll do them more. Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.